Hello everyone and welcome to this EO Masters mini tutorial, mini but mighty. In the past I have often seen people using Earth observation data without paying much attention to the flags provided with the data. Neither as an input filter for scientific data processing nor when validating the processing results. That's why I want to quickly highlight the importance of flags. Flags are provided with the EO data and indicate for each pixel its quality or type. The type can indicate, for example, land or bright cloud pixels or mountain shadow or uh, other regions like fresh inland water. The indicated quality can vary from totally invalid pixels to pixels where the quality might be degraded like this sun glint risk flag. The sun glint risk flag is especially important when processing water pixels. So um, currently this flag is indicating also overland glint risk. So we can reduce it to water by combining both flags to a new one. And then we have only the mask over water. Such flags are delivered along with the data and are generated by the data providers like ESA, USGS, JAXA, Planet and so on. And those should not be ignored but used to filter the input pixels for the data processing. This leads to shorter computation times because less pixels need to be processed. Many level 2 algorithms used for processing also generate flags to indicate the quality of their output. Those flags need to be considered when validating the results. For example, if an AC fail flag is raised or an out of scope flag is set, we should think twice if we want to use this pixel in our validation and for drawing conclusions. A good example is the OLG level 2 water product. Here we see a chlorophyll and N result and we might think there are plenty of good results beside the already marked no data values. So but when we enable the OC and N fail flag we see oh several pixels it failed. So even at locations where the result looked quite well. So we should have another look why it failed and if we can use this in our application. As you have watched this far, please consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to not miss future videos. Excluding pixels based on flags reduces the number of measurements, but it will increase the quality of our results. And certain bands have become more and more popular in the recent past. If they are provided, they should be considered too, for example by using a threshold on the uncertainty value. This is an output of the C2RCC processor and it's showing the chlorophyll concentration. It provides also uncertainty values for each pixel, so we can create a new mask which shows us all values with the uncertainty higher than 10. And we see there are quite a lot here in this area. The conclusion is when using earth observation data we need to consider flags to create high quality data and ensure the reliability of our processing results. I hope this video reminds people on the importance of flags and how they can help to improve scientific results. Thank you for watching. Tschüss!